Hi, Ding Li here, a researcher in the Croat Research Group. In this video, I'll be showing you the typical and simple setup that are available for the flow chemistry using our system. The typical tubing for the flow chemistry is often PFA. This is flexible and see through, so monitoring the reaction is possible visually. Unlike running a reaction in the flash, a reaction flow is continuously reacting. To determine the reaction time, you need to know the tube diameter, the flow rate, and the tube length. Using these, you can determine the retention time, which correlate to the reaction time. In the description is a spreadsheet that can be used to determine the retention time for a given flow rate, tube diameter, and tube length. For the first section of the video, we'll be assembling the tubing connector. These are the following components. A tubing PFA 1 16th OD, a nut peak 1 16th, a peak ferro SF, a SS ring 1 16th, and a union P702. Place the lock ring over the peak ferro. Make sure the flat face of the ring faces away from the ferrule. Insert the ferrule and the ring into the nut. Insert the tubing through the nut from the opposite end of the thread to include the ring lock and the ferrule. Allow tubing to exit from the ferrule such that the tubing is not flush with the ferrule. Use a union to thread onto the nut. Tighten the complex such that the tubing and the ferrule are flush. Ferrule should be tightly bond around the tubing. The nut may freely move along the tubing length. To connect the tubing to other part of the system, you will need to attach a screw onto the end. Now you can screw the tubing into any type of the compatible joint. To have efficient mixing, use a T-joint. If you want two solutions to flow next to one another but not mix as quickly, use a Y-joint. We recommend use a connector that use a lure lock for a syringe and screw system to link to the flow system. This will enable a very tight and strong connection. We recommend part P678 red or P628 colorless. Using the tubing connector already assembled in the previous step, simply screw these into the T joint or the Y joint. Finger tighten, but do not strip the screw by tightening it's too hard. Make sure not to kink the tubing when you turn the joint. To heat or cool, you can put the tubing under the hot or cold bath. You may use our Bluetooth app to manually control each syringe pump to the desired length of the tubing. Using the app, adjust the distance for the plunger so it fits perfectly. You can move the pushing block forward or backward, and quickly or slowly, depend on how far off it is. Insert the volume, flow rate, and the internal diameter, and click start. If you want to run the reaction time at higher pressure, for example, above the boiling point of the solvent, you can add a back pressure regulator at the end of the line. 